Hi, and welcome to another in Learning Trees continuing series on Microsoft Business Intelligence. In the August 2017 release of Power BI, Microsoft has given us a new interface that makes it easy to generate parameters and to use those parameters to perform a what-if analysis within Power BI. I'm going to create a simplistic and somewhat contrived example in which I vary the Chinese sales results for fluctuations in the Yuan. In practice, however, you can use parameters to adjust the values dynamically for virtually any DAX measure you wish. Currently, our measure definition has hard-coded the exchange rate for the Yuan at 0.15. What we would like to do is make this value dynamic. To start, we go to the Modeling tab and then click on the What If button. This will bring up the dialog box that will allow us to conveniently create the variable parameters. We will call the new parameter a yuan rate, and the data type is going to be a fixed decimal point numeric type. Our parameter will range from 0.14 to 0.18 with an increment of 0 0.001. Notice that there's a checkbox that says add slicer to this page. Once Power BI places the slicer on the page, uh, rather than get the slicer to work immediately, uh, we'll simply position it and then go to the data tab to get an idea of how the parameters actually work. When we go to the data tab, we see that Power BI has actually created a new table called Yuan Rate. There's a column in that table called Yuan Rate. And Power BI has also created for us a measure called Yuan Rate Value. As we move the slider in our slicer, we're actually choosing the current value for the measure yuan rate value. The only thing that remains is to now substitute yuan rate value for the hard-coded uh, 0 0.15 that appears in our measure. Once that substitution is complete, we'll have a measure that is dynamically adjustable from the slider rather than the hard-coded 0.15. We can now test the slider. Uh, move it back and forth and we see if the orange column for the Chinese sales uh, actually varies. Uh, we see it does, so our adjustable parameter is a success. Remember that this same technique can be used to adjust any value in any what-if measure that you choose to define. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our other videos and visit blog.learningtree.com for some helpful hints and insights.